Hey guys, what's going on? It's Deathwish FK, and today I'm going to be giving you a couple tips and tricks on uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12. So let's get started. Alright, so my first tip would be to make sure your pro um, project properties has the same frame rate as your video clip. So for example here, if I drag in this Fear 3 clip, the way to check what uh, the frame rate of your clip is to right click and hit properties and right here it says 30 frames per second so then you go right here to project properties and you set it to 30 frames per second because you don't want to render under 60 or 59 or 50 when your clip is actually only 30 frames per second also there's no need to record more than 30 frames per second because YouTube um, will only uh, allow 30 frames per second once you upload it. So even if you rec record at 60 frames per second, uh, YouTube will cap it at 30 frames per second. So you're basi it, it's smarter to do that because you save space on your hard drive. And it, yeah, there's no point. So just record at 30 frames per second and render at 30 frames per second. All right, so my second tip for you guys um, would be to make sure you um, do a little bit of color correction on your clips before you upload them to YouTube because after you record usually it's your video is a little too dark by default it may not look too dark in the preview here but once you uh, once you render um, you can see a difference it's not it doesn't exactly match the preview and uh, I, I'm not uh, you know an expert on color correcting but uh, what I normally do is I go to video effect, the video effects tab, I hit color curves, and um, I already have a, you know, a preset here for Fear 3, but you can drag the default onto this, and you'll get this line right here. And um, this top one here controls um, the brightness or the, the higher colors inside your video. So as you can see, you click the this little uh, lever right here and dragging it up makes your video brighter and you know it makes it pop out more um, and normally I just drag this up a little bit uh, you know you don't want to do it too much because it can can stand out a little bit too much but you know just kinda make it a little brighter you know a little easier to see and, and the bottom lever controls the dark colors so you can lower that a bit too just just so you get like a nice little contrast between both of them but the key here is to you know raise the the brighter colors up make your videos look nicer pop out more you know and uh, you can check throughout your video how this uh, how it'll affect all your scenes you know you can do different amounts for different parts of your video if it's not working out for certain parts and um, to see the actual difference between you know the default preview you can go right here to split screen view and so the left side is without the video effects and the right side is after the color correcting effects so as you can see you know it makes it pop out more it's a little brighter um, a little easier to see so that's just a little tip um, I find that you know it's a it doesn't hurt to do that so Yep. All right. So my next tip for you guys would be um, fixing your audio. Um, most people, when they record, uh, when you record a commentary or you record your own voice on YouTube, there's usually this static behind your mic that most people don't notice, but it's there. Uh, so, for example, here I'll come to the audio track and hit play. So you can. Oh hear, my God! You can hear that static. Oh right my God! There. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> But you hear that static right there. And so to get rid of that, you come to the audio track you want to fix and hit event effects. You come to express effects audio restoration and add. Then hit OK. <clears throat> I have a static removal preset. And so just copy this down and save it as your own preset. And trust me, it it gets rid of it so just pause the video and copy these down and uh, then save it as your own preset for your use later in your videos so uh, let's see the outcome you see the static is gone so uh, that's it for this video guys um, this wasn't meant to be too long um, I haven't really done 
something like this before so I didn't want to make it too long so if you guys like it you know just let me know and I'll be happy to you know give you guys more tips and tricks uh, I do have a lot more that I can share with but for now I'm just gonna put this out there and if you guys like it um, let me know and I'll upload some more so uh, I'll see you guys later peace